All right, what's going on, guys? Moxification here. So today, I have to do a video, um, and the video is basically it's two things, and there's a main thing, and then there's a small thing, and obviously I'm you know I'm going to talk about both of them. So, um, main thing, yeah, I'll talk about last, but the you know the tiny thing that I want to say really quickly is totally you know uh, kind of related to my channel instead of the main topic. So. Uh, reason I haven't been uploading recently properly is purely because I've just been unwell. That's it. Like it, it's simple as that. Um, I, at the start, maybe probably about mm, probably about three or four weeks, probably about a month ago. Then um, I just I, I've just been really unwell. You know, like that. That's it. It's purely that. I've been playing different games as well. Like it's not only that. Obviously, I've been doing other stuff, but like uh, I've just been doing different things, you know, like I've been playing, uh, Counter-Strike, I've been doing, um, I've been playing COD 4, I've been getting, like, clips, you know, like, uh, sniper and trick shot stuff, but purely for messing around, you know, not to go anywhere with it, just, uh, just for me, personally, to mess with stuff and see, see if I can get good with edits and graphics and stuff, but yeah, so that's it, really, that's, that's where I've been, that's what I've been doing, and, uh, I hope to get back into it, uh, pretty, so, uh, pretty, pretty soon, you know, so, yeah, I hope, you know, I've, I've upload tomorrow i'm probably gonna do some live streams as well at some point i've uh, you know i've got um i've got my what's the thing called i've got data again on my phone i've got uh eight gig so i can you know i can use my phone's internet to do live streams you know and stuff like that so i'll probably do a couple of them this month and uh you know we'll, we'll see what happens from there so yeah so the main point of this video is purely for jtag toolbox so if you don't know what jtag toolbox is it was a tool that probably existed about a year ago it might even be 2014 let me just check i've actually got a video um here when was this made yeah 2014 august 2014 so um this video like the you know not the video that you're watching right now the video that's in the video the one right here on my screen on your screen um is actually a video uh, from 2014 and it was about jtag toolbox and if you haven't heard of JTAG Toolbox, it was a program pretty similar to a lot of the programs around at the time, like Apparition Net, um, in my opinion, it was like a lot better than Apparition Net, that, purely an opinion, you know, um, it was a sick program, and it was, it had so many different games, hang on now, let me make this bigger, let me see if I can make it bigger, I know it's only 480p, you probably can't see it, but I'll be able to read it, um, I believe it had... Uh, Trails Evolution, it had, you know, screenshot stuff, you know, test connection, you know, connect to the program, normal stuff like that. It had MW2, MW3, uh, COD4, GTA 5, um, it had the XUID spoofer for party and game, obviously. Um, well, I nearly choked then. Uh, you've got loads of different things, you know, there were so many different games, BO2 stuff, whatever, you know, loads of different things. And it was it was really good, you know, it was a really good program. Obviously, you had the spoof gold, which is pretty normal. And it had the method of the how you would get money and stuff on GTA. You, you used to have to do it a different way. You didn't have a menu, you know, you had to get the offsets um, and for you do it differently to how it is now very differently and it would take a long time and it had that in the program and so it was really good um even now it's still really good but uh yeah you wouldn't really need that part of it but it's still good stuff so um jtag toolbox had a crash um a while ago it it stopped working everything went wrong um it was to do with uh, some design thing of it. it it totally messed up you know and every everyone who had had paid for the tool you know it just no one could use it anymore you know and that was it and it was a really bad situation and uh recently like not even recently probably probably within the past couple of months uh, the creator called designs he started working on it again and it was really good news when i heard that he first started working on it again it was the best thing ever honestly like it was really good uh, not the best thing ever but it was really really good you know it was like i was like um really excited and pretty excited now you know i'm, I'm pretty excited because i've had the tool for a couple of I've, I've probably had the tool for about a month now and i've been messing around with it and it's it's pretty close to how it was before and I know it's going to get better as it goes along, and that's just what I'm excited for, you know. Um, so, yeah, so this video is basically just to explain a couple of things. So what I've got is, let me just let me just find it really quick. Um, I just need to open up my phone because I've got some, some stuff on my phone. Oh, wait, actually it's here, it's right here. So what you've got is, as you can see, there's a screenshot. This is the screenshot that I'm allowed to show you of the program. Um, I think it's a pretty good program. Uh, you know, I think it's... 
I think it's pretty sick. It's got some pretty sick stuff, you know. Um, it's right now. It's currently got obviously connect to console. When you open a program, it actually connects, you know, automatically. But you've got connect to console. You've got the capture screen, so you can, you know, you can see what's happening on the screen, you know. Um, you've got the game management, which is kind of similar to the JTAG Sidekick stuff, you know. You know, if you've if you ever use JTAG Sidekick, you know, it's like pretty similar to that. Um, you've got the a console information which is you know pretty you know it's just a it's the console information you know like you've that's probably in a lot of other programs gives you cpu key gives you the temperature and you know all that type of stuff you know all that type of normal normal stuff um it's got the xyd grabber which is the uh what's the xyd grabber is multiple all right let me let me try and explain this a bit better so you've got um you've got like let me open up a notepad and let me show it so how it works is you've got um, a single bit where you can put, you know, a gamer tag in, and then it grabs the extra ID. You know, that's it done. You've got another. You've got kind of like a. I don't know how to describe it. You've got like a, a line down the middle, uh, kind of like pretty similar to. Let me let me make it. There you go. Pretty similar to that, and it's like there's one side and one side. You type gamer tags, and then it'll give you the extra ID on the other side, kind of like that. That's what it's like, and so you can do it to multiple gamer tags. You know, you could open up like a notepad, and then put loads of gamer tags in. You could put loads of gamer tags in like this. You could do like swag, um, A, B, C, uh, phase, whatever. You know, and you could go all the way down a notepad, and then it would get all the extra IDs, and then it do it next to it. And I mean, it works pretty well. Uh, so there's that. You've got the custom X notifier. Which is, you know, everyone knows what that is. You've got uh, Trails Evolution and Grand Theft Auto 5 and MW2. So that's the only things that are in the program right now, as of now. Obviously, the about as well. But uh, yeah, so the other things like around at all, you know, you've got, uh, let me pick one. You've got Minecraft, you've got uh, Ghosts, you've got uh, World at War. There's no tick next to it. As you can see, there's a tick like right there uh, on everything that's good. And then if there's no tick, it's not in at all yet. And uh, obviously, eventually, they're all going to be in the tour. It's going to take a bit of time, but it's going to happen. And once it happens, then it's all good, you know? But, uh, yeah, so let me just go back to this video. I think it's on mute. It had so many different things in the past. I can't actually show you anymore. I can't show you, you know, um, I can't, I'm, I'm not meant to show you the program itself. Um, but there was just a few things that I had to say. So, um, a few things that I had to say. Um, number one is if you bought the program, uh, a while ago, uh, probably like a year and a bit ago, uh, or if you've ever like you know bought uh, JTAG Toolbox in the past, um, all you want to do is go to the creator. I'll leave his Skype and stuff in the description, and or, and I'll probably leave his aim there as well, and just message him saying that you bought the program and give him your CPU key and the Skype or aim uh, Skype or aim name that you used to buy it because uh, he's got a database where you know it obviously it's um it gives you his i think it gives you um you know the skype names and the cpu keys and then he, he cannot uh he can find out if you've actually bought the tool or not so you know if you go there and you're like uh you give him uh, your cpu key and you haven't bought the tool he can you know he can find out if you bought the tool or not um but you should make sure you give him your skype name or aim name maybe if you're on a different skype sign into that you know skype um and yeah, so that's it really. Um, and yeah, so there's that. Um, next thing is, uh, what was the next thing? Damn. Ah, oh, I know it. I know it. So yes, yeah, so there was that. And then there was the next thing, which was the the tool is now running administrator. You have to run it as an administrator. So if you don't have um, the administrator privileges, obviously you're gonna need them to run the tool. That's how it works. It stops it from like having uh, problems. Like I don't know how to explain the problems. Like it stops it from uh, having the bad problems. You know, like when you use a program and it needs to have administrator and, and it doesn't and it doesn't work, it's gonna stop that. Hopefully, so you know, yeah. Hopefully that will work now. Um, and yeah, so I mean, that's it really, that's all I needed to make a video on, you know, just a few different things related to the JTEC Toolbox, because JTEC Toolbox is coming out, you know, like, it's going to be out in the future, you know, so hopefully it comes out shortly, um, and if you want to buy the program, if you want to buy it, I know, you know, there's not much information here right now, um, if you did want to buy the program, I'll, you know, leave the Skype in the description, it's £20, like, not dollars, it's pounds, £20, 
personally, I just want to say, every time I do a video like this, and you know, for example, light lobbies as a patch or whatever, or a GTA menu or whatever, normally I'd be like, you know, I personally wouldn't buy this. But this program, I would 100% buy. If if the owner said, you know, um, I'm going to take the program away from me, yeah, I would totally buy the program. It's such a sick program. It's got like, the MW2 is beast mode. I would show you it, but you know, not allowed, um, it's got, um, so many sick things, the previous program, how it was before, it was sick, and it's, I know it's gonna be sick again, uh, the reason the program broke before was because, um, he actually, he didn't make backups, and now, obviously, he's making backups, so if anything were to go wrong, then, you know, uh, yeah, he's gonna be good, so, yeah, so, um, one final thing, what was the final thing, there was definitely one more thing, um, all right, the program currently isn't ready. It's not ready to be, you know, distributed. You know, it's still being worked on. But it will be, you know, being sold pretty soon. So if you did want to buy it and you haven't already got it, then, you know, definitely go over to him. And he'll tell you when it's, you know, when it's good. And, uh, yeah. Also, ah, forgot, forgot the last thing. Um, if if you want something to be in the, in the tool, you know, like a, a game or a, a specific thing for a specific game... Ask him, and he'll try and put it in. That's that's what he wanted, you know. He wanted, uh, there's a term for it, I've forgotten what it's called. Feedback, that type of thing, you know. So, yeah, so, that's really it. You know, that's only, they're the only things that I wanted to put into this video. Um, and I will be uploading again shortly. Honestly, video coming out tomorrow, video coming out next day, hopefully. And I'm going to do live streams, definitely, 100%, because I've got my phone's internet back up now so yeah so thanks for watching and uh, i know it was a bit b a bit of a boring video but it was just an update video and that first bit that i needed to say um so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video uh yeah goodbye